China on Tuesday successfully launched the Shenzhou 16 spacecraft and its crew to its space station. They are having the second in-orbit handover at the China space station. After witnessing so many successful launches, it seems to me that everything should be normalized by now. But how do experts from around the world feel about it? Let's hear what they say. For the Shenzhou 16 crew, because it's already in a completely different phase. It's in the uh, uh, application and the de development phase. So in this phase, uh, their major role absolutely is scientific research. So that the role is different and also in a different stage. That is the reason why we call this the Shenzhou 60 mission is the first manned mission during this application and the development phase. Uh, that is the meaning of the Shenzhou 16. Then this mission is uh the first with the new operational phase of the Chinese space station it is going to be one of the increment uh, mission, which is now becoming a standard six months, uh, uh, let's say, mission, like uh, we have been having on the International Space Station. Chinese space station uh, is a much more compact, uh, but uh, this is very modern uh, with up-to-date technology. This allows uh, to do a lot of uh, science in, uh, in a reduced volume. And this also allows the astronaut to spend less time on the maintenance. For the mission itself, as I said, this is uh, going to replace, as far as I understand, the previous crew, uh, which uh, it will be uh, coming back uh, to her. They are very uh, high. They have very high quality in every field. But still, if we can have our engineers and uh, scientists in orbit, they will do more meaningful research uh, in our Tiangong space station. The purpose of our destination to build a Tiangong space station is not to just to live in outer space but to conduct scientific research and benefit all human beings. So that's our purpose. You know, that's the, the knowledge and the, also the uh, architecture uh, in their brain and also their experience in either engineering and scientific research will help them to uh, make the scientific research experiments more uh, perfect. And if something wrong happened, they have more chance to handle this kind of, all kinds of malfunction and errors. Uh, uh, you said yourself, I think uh, the first time that there is a civilian uh, so to speak, on board, it's a very important step. Opening uh, to the civilian, it's clear that everyone which is a researcher can relate probably easier to, to fly uh, uh, common people. I would say the, the word common people, simply not specialized, not professionally uh, trained uh, pilot. Uh, I think it clearly gives a, a clear indication, a message that everybody could do it. Uh, one uh, very important uh, thing for me is that today uh, we don't need to launch two uh, cargo spacecraft every year. We only need uh, three uh, cargo sp uh, spacecraft every two years. Uh, this is because, you know, that uh, with, uh, uh, during the uh, technology demonstration phase from the 2020 to 2022 and also uh, during the construction phase, environmental control and life support system shows a very uh, higher performance than expected, save about six times of resupply every year. Uh, so uh, uh, it is not necessary to uh, deliver so much resupplies to the city stations every year. And we can uh, keep these resources to the scientific research, research instruments. Moreover, you see that uh, we have 25 scientific research racks uh, in our Tiangong space station. So uh, in the future, I believe the, uh, the range and the scope of the scientific research become wider and wider. And in the future, we, I believe we need more uh, payload experts and more flight engineers. The Chinese space station is a second generation station. So I think it's state of the heart, uh, is very compact. Uh, and so this allows, as I said, to have astronauts spending more time on the scientific aspect. Uh, and so I think uh, uh, there is, this is the first phase. I understand there will be more modules that will be added uh, as the time pass by, or even the scientific uh, or technological need uh, may arise. So I think um, this is a, a big achievement. Uh, and of course, uh, clearly the next step, as we can see of also the ISS, is to get towards the commercial. Because uh, uh, again, uh, I'm sure also in China, there is a big industrial basis, uh, which is seeking 
uh, also to, to enter in uh, this kind of market. So again, the Chinese space station is a good example. It is closer to a potentially commercial station.